doing it under a watcher though, so we'll do so take gonna that. Can do it then. Sure they don't have the vision. And that was quick. Jesus. I mean fly almost got blasted in the process as well, but there you go. Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty nice shot to pick up, right? Yep, very nice shot for, for Ancient Apparition. It's also one of the reasons why the hero is more viable. They pushed the damage into the spell for Ice Vortex and reworking the shard so it applies a stun on Ice Blast Connect based on your current level in Cold Feet. And uh, yeah, just giving Radiant just more scary. stun, more purpose to AA. Very, very useful. Spirit, though, they are currently smoked up in the mid lane. They have drawn a perfect line to find Arteezy. And they have one sentry, so they do have detection for the Silver Edge. Oh, he just used it anyway. They won't even need to. Here they go, onto our teams and the rest of the team. They need to get here fast. I mean, the Stampede comes down, but it's not gonna make a difference. Arteezy is dead. Shopify nowhere to be found. Crit gets caught up by a call on the sideline. Just gonna get back up onto the high ground and get themselves away from this. Wow, Toro. <laughs> Very aggressive, blink up onto the high ground there. They have zero respect for Shopify if they don't have their CK. Radiance Don't misclick your silver edge, guys. Attack. He's using it to... I, I'm sure it was an accident on that ancient camp. And then in doing I don't through, know. I've seen him do it a couple of times, T. Well, either way, wherever he just did that, it sealed his death. If he had it in play, there was no detection. He could just walk south. The end wasn't in position, but using the silver edge like that... Yeah, got him killed off. And yeah, Spirit, they are just making all the moves here. Hmm. Ooh, equally kind of awkward for them to go Roshan. Like, neither team wants to do this, right? A very quick kill. Yeah. No, no team has, like, the, the huge Roshan lineup, and it's more about going on the map and finding stuff rather than trying to set up for the big 5v5s. Like, I don't think either team does that particularly well in terms of draft, but... Yeah, our bad, you know, he's, he's kind of just... There's been a lot of the aggression, really, from Shopify. Like, it feels like... I mean, they're not that far behind. In fact, they're barely far behind at all, but it feels like they're just so afraid to go out and make moves on the map. Mm -hmm. Are we about to potentially see three hearts in the game? Centaur's got one queued up. Earthfruit already has a heart, and CK's just buying a Reaver. Seems way. Yeah. That's a lot of heart, heart put into a game. Minute. Yeah. Good item. Bottom lane. There's Radiance bottom top tower of fight. is under attack. Hunting at the moment. They don't have their Scarath Mage with them. They see Lal, but they don't get the silence off Lal. Oh Dix it gets off the rage shift, and instead they're just going to go for collapse. Collapse will get brought down. Well, hang on for a pretty big call here. We'll do it onto Arteezy and Sableye. Yotoro jumping in now, throws out the stun onto the Centaur. Centaur happy to turn around. Tag is actually there. Turning around to Yotoro. His first life goes very quickly indeed. But there comes the Grimstone once again, leashing them together. But Yotoro is dead. They have the damage, but down goes Arteezy as well. The two things do the work. But silenced up a thousand times over. Apparently he's going to die as well. Lull out of the fight and Shopify, they grab a few of them and what the hell? Apparently there's a Grimstroke here. I, I don't know how he ended up in this situation, but nevertheless, will be another hero taken out by Shopify Rebellion and that's four heroes dead. A successful engagement. Yeah, a really successful engagement. The smoke wrap round, they instantly find the puck, but Lau, beautiful reaction to disengage and then collapse. He's kind of just in no man's land and in doing so, it's very like, well, I guess we should take the fight and yeah, crit. Showcasing how much damage you can do on this Scarf Mage. And it was really nice positioning from uh, Flat as well. He was holding that high ground position underneath the cover of his ward, holding his ultimate until that second life of the Wraith King. And as soon as the uh, reincarnation came into play, pops the Ice Blast, prevent Wraith King from really feeling too good on that second life. And yeah, Spirit, a rare moment where they're not truly ready as a full five. A nice spoke from Shopify. It's something wow. he's been looking for, I think, in the last like eight or so minutes but it does finally connect, and instantly they go in again. They're smoked up, Earthspirit AA and Scarif Mage. Incredibly short cooldowns on their kill spells. And they would love to find Wraith King right now without his ultimate, but he's on the other map. So potentially Lal is the target of choice here. And that will be an easy pick up for them. Life. Not particularly high Fade value kill, but might memory. set up for them to look towards. But it's just turned nighttime, and uh, this pit is kind of free for them at the moment. <laughs>
do you know? Team Spirit mount contest. Okay. I'll tease he scared me for a second. He just misclicked put a second Reaver in his quick buy, and I was like, do try and make me talk about double Reaver build on CK. Okay, that is not a thing. <laughs> Don't make me justify that one. I'm... <laughs> no, I'm here to flame if he does it, but no, he he does not go for the heart. So we are going to see Shopify Rebellion by maybe the 30 minute mark with a triple heart on Centaur, Earthbrit, and CK. They are going to be incredibly boys with an Aegis to boot. Roshan has fallen to there the you go. Aegis into the hands of the Chaos Knight. Now, what can they get done with it? And Team Spirit, how well can you move around this map? I'm almost excited Radiant to watch Team Spirit scary. be in the losing position again because they play it so Radiant well then. Immediately they're going on to Artizi here. They want to take this Aegis Radiant's out the moment they have it. And they might just attack. do it. Oh, invisibility. Just keep them <laughs> alive. On. Don't do Shopify like that, man. The previous game, they used their Aegis to not do a lot. And this game, if you take it away instantly, come on, give them, a, give them something, Spirit. Let them have a moment, please. <laughs> This time, Artiz is fired through it all. They kind of got him up to the high ground. The, the Imtis is starting missing, and that's when they realized, like, they affect the damage output from this Enchantress so much that the moment he got onto the high ground, they were just like, no, Radiant's it's not bottom happening. Tower is under attack. Rifkin completes the BKB. So this time, when he enters the fight, he isn't going to be annoyed by any of these cheap stuns that Shopify have. He will be able to freely get off his right clicks. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Sure, now I'm impressively positioned down here. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Council of Tifi, that one Dyer's has been a bit disastrous. They have the damage there to bring down pretty Dyer's much anyone who TP's in on those many careers. If they do it, yeah. Radiant's <laughs> bottom tower is under attack. That was the hard game for sure, yep. Sure. And, uh, uh yeah. Nartizi has his coming out to him now. Team Spirit still waiting to see if anybody shows up on the bottom side. The Skeletons are just going to town on this tier 3 tower. Top fly just won't send anybody back to deal with it right now. They want to find something on this map, but they're just not going to. They're looking for Sableye, though. Oh my god, yeah. Here we go. Someone comes back to defend. Sableye gets called out, uses the stampede, trying to get away. Stunned forever. Will the impetuses land? Yes, they will. Maposhka gets him. And the tower is still falling. I mean, they've almost got it. Radiant's bottom tower. Tower. And they've almost work. broken the high ground. Radiant structures are fortified. Dark Troll Summoner plus the skeletons? That's a lot of damage. It's the boat zone down here. Artizi running out, looking for a target. Doesn't quite see Maposhka due to the nighttime vision. It was unfortunate. And he's seen on a ward now as well. Radiant are scared. Spirit. They want to they get behind. They want to see who is behind the big boy. And they've completely cut him up. Look at the minimap right now. They're just going for the targets, which Artizi can't help with at the moment. Crit. He's just going to get obliterated. Fly trying to hide on the high ground. Ooh, so just a few later, buddy, and rolls himself away. Doesn't want anything to do with this one. Collapse comes in on a tier four, even. Aries, he's going to take the fight. Buyback comes out from the Skyrath Mage, but the once again, the Poshka just blasted away from the back lines. This Enchantress, who's a real carry, she's doing so much. Artizi comes back immediately, looking for Yatori Yatori with the BKB, trying to get his way out of this one. A Sentinel goes in deep. Yatori, though, still standing his ground. The Inkstar heals him up to full charge through the both of them. They're being controlled heavily. Here, Artizi needs to get off his damage. He needs to find a target. Yeah. The could be the perfect target for him. Stun and keep Maposhka alive. For the time being, charge in though onto Artizi. He's the MP and down. He doesn't have the help. And he is going to fall. Two lives taken care of. Saber like TP's away. Another game, another trap. Four shot fire, Dudley and Team Spirit just Radiant so damn well. Jumping on the park, at the very least, they might be able to catch out Lol here. Phase shift, not gonna save him. Save light and fly. Find something for themselves. Radiant structures are fortified. The Porsche is doing so Radiant's much work. Radiant barracks are under attack. Like, I'm just kind of left a little bit of damage. Like, shove his heart, but like, there's an enchantress. And Peter's just boom. Radiant's just hidden barracks through them. See, like, Artizi, he starts to fight by himself, trying to get into. Team Spirit's line. He just lost the ages. And at that point, Maposka just free casting his spells. He wishes he had a little bit more mana. He ran out at the very end because he'd used, well, like 20, 30 plus Impedus across that. Yeah, Shopify, they are uh, struggling a little bit here. I think now they got to think about this Enchantress first. If they don't shut Maposka, it's just going to rip through the entire lineup. Just Hurricane Pike <laughs> sitting on the back line. And he's got Moonshard. He's already got a Moonshard available. He's already got if the money for it. it. 
the posture is a crazy bastard. I cannot believe he gets away with this every single game. No drums even this time. Just every single game, he just pushes it further. Oh my god. So sick. Uh, team spirit, man. Like, it's every time, every single time they're behind, I'm just like, all right, sweet. Like, we get to watch find some crazy way back into this game. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Not only do they play exceptionally well, but they find their opponent's mistakes so easily, so cleanly, right? And I think for Shuffle Fight now, Arteezy, he has the silver, he has the break mechanic. Maybe he needs to think about finding Enchantress first, no, instantly kill her off, and then force her to There you go. It's all right. He's dead as well. <laughs> Fly God <laughs> kills two heroes. <laughs> oh. That's what they needed. Sh what now, Enchantress fans? Man. It's under attack. Ulrich brought Tormentor into their roster, and that's how they're going to do it. Free of the flesh. Before the six-man rosters do relatively well, and yeah, the Tormentor the combination and fly. Is under attack. That's how you kill off the Poshka. <laughs> how do they even see that? Like, I don't know. Don't ask the question. Just enjoy the fight. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, have just... to wit. <laughs> I'm sure we'll have a replay Radiant's for it very shortly as well because that was uh, absolutely unhinged. Dyer's bottom tower. Has All right. right, they're back in a reasonable position then. <laughs> Take a bottom tier two tower, easy as that. Great King can't fight for the time being until his reincarnation is back. Collapse, running on the bottom lane there. Oh, that's easy shows. Could have maybe been caught out, but actually a CK alone isn't enough to take down a builder. Pretty okay. silly. Right. All right. Well, now it's time to wait until Radiant Roshan respawns. Both teams going to uh, kind of play a little bit more carefully now, I would imagine. Whilst they wait for the AP to be back in play. Now, the interesting thing here is that it could be a daytime or a nighttime Roshan due to when it's respawning. And that always oh, we got a replay. This is here way more important. Oh, oh. Jesus. <laughs> and then the skeletons the come skeleton. <laughs> No! Stop! Sorry. Get back. It wasn't a six-man roster. It was like a 22-man roster. 20-man roster. Shopify really pulling <laughs> to get the win. <laughs> Stop, my children. You're killing your father. Oh, my God. All right. That's oh, fucking God. hilarious. Bye. They are smoked up around the bottom area of the map, seeing if the Spirit Break wants to come charging them through. Team Spirit, well, camping on the middle lane at the moment. Of course, it is kind of Radiant's on middle tower Team Spirit to make their way back to the bottom side, over towards this Roche Pit. But at the moment, the base is being pushed in pretty damn hard, Yatoro. He doesn't care about smoking. He, he's, he's not a subtle man. He's going to take down a Radiant's tier 2 tower. tower he knows that Shopify ain't going to do anything about it. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Dyer are scanning. Skeletons, they're hitting mid. <laughs> they're yeah, going for the <laughs> Making up sorry, sorry, we're sorry for getting you. We'll take mid tower instead. Look at Team Spirit, such a good position here. Going onto the Chaos Knight, they want to start a fight onto Arteezy and Taurus on top of him. The damage is there. Where is the help? Where is the help? Arteezy's all alone and he is going to die. 100 to 0 with nothing to say about it. Three heroes dead. This wasn't a fight, this was a murder. And now they come for the barracks in the bottom. Radiant Spirit, bottom barracks are they make it look so damn easy. Shovelfire just weren't in position. The skeletons were hitting mid racks. Like has Spirit knew that they were out of base, so to even try and entertain that engagement. But yeah, Spirit utilizing Radiant's this racing beautifully, has pressuring bot, Radiant's pressuring mid, barracks. always forcing the map out, and they're just looking to even hit the tier fours here. There's uh -oh. no buyback on the sky. There's no buyback on the CK. They're forcing out the glyph. Tier two in top lane is protecting Shopify from getting mega creeps right now, and that is going to be the issue for Shopify's lineup. They don't really push out the creeps that well. Don't deal with the skeletons that well throughout the game. And it's why you see Spirit, they're not really playing that traditional form of Dota, which is smoke, get kills, and pickups. It's a lot of just that kind of macro play, death by a thousand cuts, a lot of skeleton gameplay, helping Spirit just ignore how strong um, Shopify can be in the fights. Yeah, so we're already moving up to the top side to uh, set up for this next Roshan as well. Yeah, it's just crazy. Like you just feels like a master on every hero he plays like every single time he's just 
yeah. utilizing every factor of the hero he plays beautifully, and then we'll do the exact same thing on the next one. Radiant Spirit Oscar. already positioned in top side of the map. Triple fight, our smoked up. This could be the deciding fight of the fight. game. It could Shop be game. I want to come back into the series. It is now. They're going to pop everything, give them all the vision they need to start this one off. And once again, they're looking forward. RTZ collapses on him once again, just like game one. Staying on top of the CK, but they found a beautiful jump in the back lines. Your support is gone. Double buybacks from them straight off the bat. Your turret's taking hits as well. Large jumping around the fight. They're waiting for their supports to come back into this engagement. So Shopify, they will give them the space. They'll back themselves away and wave their resources to recover. Futuro did die, though. He did get picked off. And actually, Sableye, he's just back in on the post -K. He wants to find the big... Nature the rest of the team, us. they're rallying around him, jumping in. They've managed to catch out Lala as well. Lala's stunned Silas for the time being, but the follow-up stun is not there. They see RTZ here. He's stunned up once he's he's again. He's the violent who's on top of his bash comes out. RTZ is dead. No buyback. They need to find a way to make this fight. But I'm not sure it's possible. Surely Enchantress is getting low, but the Sintel's dead as well. But look at towards Crit. Crit is basically gone already. And once again, three dead. They do have the buybacks on the Sentinel on the Skyrath mage, but meanwhile, it's desperately trying to defend the base. And for Shopify there, they felt pressured. They lost two lanes of racks. They knew that Roshan was available. So with the double support buyback on Spirit, for Shopify, like, if maybe if they come waited for the CK healed. ultimate to come back in, Radiance that's when you can take the fight. Full. But without those big spells in place, Spirit are easily able to capitalize on and he walks back into the fight just to instantly die off. Yeah, Spirit. Great position. Once again, reading that so beautifully. Keeping the lanes pushed, never really allowed by that entry to an engagement. And now they're going to get the second Roshan, Aegis and Chi. This does feel like Spirit should be able to walk down top lane, take that tier two and try and close Mortality. out this game with at least the Mega Creeps in the next, uh, within this Aegis window. Behold. Well, moving down up the top lane, collapse. Leading the charge. Radiant top tower is under attack. Team Spirit. I mean, how do you defend against this now? Enchantress picked up the eight. Just for God's sake. Radiant's top the tower. <laughs> the real carry of it's Team fair. Spirit. Set. Now won't even be going down if you. Oh man, I mean, I I don't know how Shopify Radiant's can do top this. Tower is under attack. They gotta hope, hope that spirit dies deep past the tier twos, tier threes. Oh, sorry, tier three, sorry. Tier fours. Yes. Into the fountain. <laughs> Into the fountain. Oh, Caps are trying. Nice catch from uh, from RTZ. They managed to actually get their hands on the breaker and stop them really connecting here. RTZ moving to the sidelines. I mean, they are bound up together, so they know the real one. Meanwhile, they're just trying to actually deal with the barracks, leaving it to up front as a tasty piece of bait. Loss of go for the buildings. Arbed's got them trolled up, but they have brought down Yatora the twice, but Arbed's dead as well. Can't get their hands on that part. They'll let him get away and move across towards Collapse. It's like doing the damage. It's very hard for the enchantress to get off the damage from this low ground here. The mischance is going to be coming into effect here. Sounds up into the central. Central taking hits. The barracks kind of exposed at the moment. So fine. They're taking a few seconds just to get their resources back and then get back to defending this. But the mega creeps are on the way. Fit right now, the real carry of Team Spirit doing their work. Four staffs away, dodging out the CK. Stuns out from Collapse with the Inkswell as well. They're chaining it perfectly right now. And a bash comes through as well. Another charge. Our TC can't press his buttons. They're trying to just bring down the Chantress. And they'll do it for the first time. The dust owner is out onto our TC again. He's dead. No buyback. No CK. Upper bracket bound. Team Spirit taking out. Left, right, and center. No. Shopify trying their hardest to stay oh, in this game. But I'm just not sure there's a chance of five now coming out from yes. the Wraith King. Sableye to the back one. Trying to bring that collapse, but he's gone. Charge across the map. He's out of here. Crit taking damage from the Enchanter as well. She stands up, so she can't use the impetus once again. Just using that Hurricane Pipe. Sableye trying to bring her down. Surely she will fall. Your Toro comes in from the side to bring down Crit. Stampede used, but Poshka is dead. The game might not be over yet, T. You take that as a massive victory for Shopify, right? Like, your turret. I, you didn't really progress the game. You didn't get Mega Creep straight. Like, you're one game, like, you're one ancient falling away from being in the lower bracket for the international. So, you, you take this if you're Shopify, but yeah, for Spirit. 17k damage dealt from the Central Wall Runner. 12.
run it down mid, hope to keep taking the fight in one great charge to get themselves out of this game. It doesn't sound promising, but Silence. maybe the only way she fight can do it. I'm out. Playing light. Just uh, stepping it up here in the final moments of this game and making them no longer the final moments of the game, giving Shopify a second chance. I think as well, like, once you get a team that's really good with Spirit Breaker, it does annoy you a lot throughout the game, because how do you buy BKB in this game and feel good? Because there's this Aghanim Spirit Breaker with Octarine with a charge, which just bashing throughout the fight, never striking you as well. Like, it, it's one of those items where I wish I had it to deal with everything else, but then Spirit Breaker. And obviously some games you're going to have to just ignore the fact and go for it, and it's not, I don't think it's too important right now anyway, but... Spirit Breaker just really hurts his opponent's cause and how they in the game. I feel like if anything, this is probably... I think CK kind of needed a blink in this game. Like, to be able to find that Grimstroke, to find that Enchantress, to stop them from free casting the spells, that could have probably been the key up in this game for me, but... Yeah, so far, should why they are smoked up. I would say smoked up, they have Ninja Gears. But hoping to find a pick. No. Breaking this book quite nicely. Yeah, this is a it though. How do they approach the next window of the game? Five minutes now, Wraith King doesn't have buyback. Roshan Radiant might respawn in three standing. minutes or so. Of course, he doesn't have heavily his favorite spirit. He's just buying out every <laughs> single time. This man has no cares about his buybacks. At this stage of the game, you need to just play for that one fight and it goes for it. The Boshka has been seen, Silence is out. The chase, it doesn't connect. Fire. They're not willing to overextend, and there is just an army of skeletons pouring into the triangle right now. <laughs> right around here. I was like, guys, didn't you help us at the Tormentor? Why are you now running at us? Come on. Yeah. Okay. Whose side are they on? We don't know. Dyer are scanning. Lol, by the way, looking to uh, repurpose his build for the late game here. Picking up the Aghanim Scepter, going for mm -hmm. Mjolnir. They're going to be uh, doing a bit of damage to these dream coils as well. I mean, this is an excellent cool tool for just killing supports. You jump in the back lines, drop a gotcha. coil, get out, and your coil will just be there for you. It also helps with just additional props of your Mjolnir down the line. If it's already gone as well, so now you've got two Mjolnirs, the Radiance, the CK Illusions, just passively they're down in the fight if it lasts a little bit too long. Yeah. And for teams are dodging Shopify here. They just moved to the top side of the map. They don't want to give Shopify this opportunity to take a fight outside of their base, give them the time to instantly knock on the tier 2 and the tier 3. And now they, they themselves smoke up. Dyer's running tower deep here to tower. maybe contest this uh, Tormentor. Tormentor at this point in the game. <laughs> Pretty damn tough. Hey, yeah. Get Critter Shard. Jump. And then onto, onto Table. The Table Light is just taken out of the equation straight away. You get the Tormentor, you lose your Centaur. That is a trade which Shopify have been forced into. He does have the buyback. Perfect location. As Arteezy just continually buying more and more items, grabs the harpoon now as well. Just buy the barrack. Yeah. The final barrack under attack. And now the Chaos Knight being thrown up at the moment. They've got the call coming out to do it. Tour also taking a lot of damage in this at the moment. Once again, Sableye in on the back lines, knows his job to clean up the Poshka here. They want to try and bring down the edge. He's even got a Beacon Bean out at the moment, so he's fighting through it for now. Big Stun with the Ink Swell coming up through Yutoro, jumping on in, looking for Arteezy. Arteezy back to way under the cover and still breaks. They'll move on to Sableye. Sableye, he survives for the time being. Turns around at the start. They're attacking Yutoro. They might be able to take him down. They have. Yutoro is dead without buyback. A real opportunity here for Shopify. They found it, Radiant's but they need to take out the rest, and top. the rest are going down our beds. He's gonna be there, Saber like fighting up into they everybody. They take down the Poshka, no fighting Get Mirror as well. They needed a miracle, and it is yeah, yeah. Saberlight continuing to chase, but they are on the run. How much can the part and the Spirit Breaker laugh? do to delay things right now? It might just be a Spirit Breaker. Lyle's still trying to play with them at the moment. Silence. Trying to move, jumping across. Coil, Blink, Orb, everything being used from the pack in these fights just to be annoying. Hey, but prize. they just need to get down the middle lane right now. Finally, Shopify able to collect on their spells. They found yeah, the Posh Good. Sable like, had to buy back, but it was the perfect buyback. And on top of that, just the damage came out. Spirit, Radiant not really able scary. to connect. And there's a window of 70 seconds without Wraith King buyback. We're not going to be expecting a lot from Shopify here. 
but it's a start of a potential comeback. They are able Dyer's to win fights help. if they can Sandra's execute, attack. and for Spirit, maybe getting a little bit too carried away, a little bit too comfortable. And they, How much yeah. can they get here? The answer's not a whole lot. I mean, oh, the Wind Waker on collapse. Oh, yeah. Nice Wind Waker. Waker. Bouncing around them. Top tower is under Middle attack. tower is gone. Top tower also going to be falling as well. Has They're opening themselves up for their own possibility of, of getting mega creeps at some point in the Dyer's game. Middle tower <laughs> is under oh my attack. God, collapse. <laughs> so they're not going to get really anything from this. Like, I felt like that fight from Shopify was Such as soon as your tower died without buyback, like, how quickly can they conclude the fight with enough resources to then run it down the lane and get a little bit of map pressure themselves? But because you have Puck, because you have Spirit Breaker, even when you do yeah. win the fight and have like, oh wait, we're doing it. There's so many things you have to do. And Mega it's, Creeps, of course, were taken honestly, from Team Spirit there. The worst two heroes to be left alive after a fight. <laughs> yeah. Well, hold on. There's a TP coming in here from Hitoro. They might go for this. They're definitely going to go for this. Throwing everything they've got onto the Ray King. They're going to be able to take him down for the first time. He's coming back, though. The TP's coming through. There comes Buff. Beautiful call coming out from the puck as well. Hitoro, his second life, he's going to BKB at... Walk away, so he will be fine for the time being, but lol, he's caught in the middle of it, he's gonna go down, has the buyback available, huge ice boss gonna come on through as well, there's still plenty of health left available on the Shopify heroes as they try and get on top of the potion, the Enchantress might be falling here, she is dead. Up, dead, looking for more, probably not gonna find it, but Roshan is now available, Flight, meanwhile, trying all by himself to defend this base, <laughs> he's really struggling. Spirit are making the end of this game quite spicy. You know, they get the Mega Creeps, lose a lot. Then they just, you're trying to TP him blindly by himself into the Roshan area and, okay. Shopify, they're against Mega Creeps. The net worth isn't too crazy, but they're gonna get the third Aegis. This is an Aegis cheese and refresher. This is gonna be a game of buybacks now. Can, can they do it? We've already seen a Mega Creeps come back so far. The road to international. Are you starting to believe this is possible? For the sake of the show, yes, I do believe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm contractually obliged to say yes. Uh, yes. Very, For very, very... I do believe this is the beginning. They will win, though. No, uh, but if anything, I think for Shopify, they, the they will be kicking charity. themselves a little bit because they could have done all of these actions 25 minutes ago, you know? Like the fact it took them nearly 40 minutes to get to these types of fights, this construct of engagement, it's a little bit too slow. And it's why Spirit are in such a dominating position. And you'd expect for Spirit now, okay, you know what? We're kind of getting a little bit volatile with our gameplay. Let's sit back for a second. You've got an Aegis, congratulations. They'll probably farm the map and just keep your fire in their face, keep the Mega Creeps running towards their side of the, uh, the map. Yep. And then we'll see a, a fresh new round of engagement. But, all right, so what you're telling me is we've got about four and a half minutes to burn. Yeah. Pretty How's much. How are you feeling? Feeling good? Yeah, I'm all right, yeah. Don't really know what Shopify's cooking yet, but they are cooking something. Well, trying to cook something. Collapse is now a warding duty as well. If anybody misclicked and accidentally collapsed in as wards placed on their hand seal, be happy about this. Dyer are scanning. You're just doing me like that. Yes, okay. I accidentally put Nisha ward place, okay? I forgot to change it. I did my tech check for TI. I then started casting, and then there was like a game too late where I click on Nisha and was like, oh no. Collapse. Okay, that's we found him here. He's got the bulldoze, of course, so very hard to actually bring him down. And yeah, he's just gone. So balanced. This hero in the super late game is just something else, man. Is this the 25 talent you expected to see? Plus 20% greater chance versus the Bulldoze 500 all damage barrier? Yeah, I mean, Bashing is very good. And Bulldoze, all, like, it's basically just like a block of cheese. And we know how bad that is. So uh, there could be some games where the left talent's warranted, but just getting that extra Bash chance, especially when you've already got so many opportunities just to click through. And some Swift, uh, what, 37%? Yeah, I'll take those odds. Double damage. Not as good as 17, but we'll take it. Yeah, no, 17 is a scary number. Hello. Ooh. Ooh. It's a scary time. 
time, especially with the double damage RTZ sniffing you out. Well, you can tell he's thinking about it. He's always thinking about dropping the coil here, seeing if you can set up something. And that's the thing, Spirit. Their communication is so crisp. They seem to be able to just be like, yes or no, as a team, within like 0.5 seconds. And it's yes, you know, everyone will be there. They found it, they found it, silence, love's dead. They get him. 100 seconds without the puck could be something. He doesn't actually have the money for buyback at the moment, of course. They won't know that on Shopify. And it is very difficult to commit to a fight and then disengage if they, if you see that buyback coming through. So see what the call is here from Shop. Well, of course, Mega Creeps as well, gonna create extra pressure and they're actually clicking on Sableye right now. He is the Aegis cat, yeah. Yeah, and the important thing here, the reason why Shopify are finding opportunities, but actually, they're gonna try and jump Sableye. They will find him, get the cut is that, and oh my goodness, the damage is there as well. The post is gonna blast to him. Life number one is... Beds, Managed to get the roll to him before he gets the charge, but they can't chase any further. The start fight coming in. through once again. And Artiz shoot, shoot. Yeah, So no stun from you. No way they will make it out of this one. Yeah, they they See you later. So still probably getting another kill to then be able to turn it around, but of course they trade the ages for that. And... Utilizing the ninja gear so perfectly, right? CK plus Skyroth Mage. Artizi goes for a, like a 50 minute orchid to help with that Lincoln's pop to help try and control that puck. And if there ever was a time where neutral items are really helping their teams, oh, the game it is right now. Because this ninja cool. gear item, even with a nerf in 7.34D, is giving them just enough opportunities. And now Maposhka. What's up? He wants this is to a get a really big target. They can bring it yeah. down. Crit. He sees him. Or does he? He's around. There he is, Silence is out, BKB immediately popped from the post. Yeah. He's just so damn fast. That's easy, he's not even doing any damage to him. <laughs> what is this? Abed comes through though, BKB's over. They should finish up with the A Blast coming through as well, and that will be done, but in comes the Salt Blind once again from the oh, Grimstone, controlling up the two of them. Artizi taking damage here, he is gonna drop. And Abed, he needs to get out, he can't either. Turn to stone and take him down. Two dead on the side of Shopify. Buyback's gonna be forced and they come out immediately. Oh, this hurts. This hurts for sure. The fact they were trying to go for that pick off in Enchantress and Maposhka, beautiful positioning. He hugs the tree line, throws up the Observer Sentry, and in doing so, getting that BKB off, preventing the break, and then it just took too long. Spirit instantly able to get back into that area. And we saw the value of the Dream Coil and Games with Mjolnir. Since they're just instantly going down. Shopify using three buybacks just in response for one edge pick off. Their playstyle was keeping them against the Mega Creeps. It was very refreshing but one mistake and of course you would then instantly shove back into your base if you can keep chaining the pickoffs you can keep playing the map but as soon as it doesn't work out and you don't have the buybacks that confidence to leave your base is gonna you know slowly disappear and for spirit it does feel like they are just farming up waiting for that next stages and then hoping to try and close out the game that way but yeah shopify shouldn't in theory be too confident now I say that, they're now slow. say that. <laughs> the crit's already hunting. I mean, they know they're not going to be let back into this game, so... The opportunities need to come from them. Haste! Oh, another charge. Arteezy moving on to this Sarah Breaker here. Very scary for Arteezy here, don't forget. No buyback available on him. A charge through once again. Collapse. He is taking damage here, but they managed to get the connection on onto RTZ. The damage, though, is not really massive, and now they're refreshing a Taurus. The one kind of loose. Oh my god, the post from the sidelines. RTZ is gone. Yes. Team Spirit, they get the carry. Can they do it without him? They've taken down Crit as well. Collapse trying to fight up with Ahmed here. The post from the sidelines just blasting out the impetuses. Law with the ultra kill. Moving on to Sableye. Sableye trying to do what he can, but there's nothing left in the tank. Centaur's gonna try. A rampage for Lyle to finish off this game. Sure, the buybacks are there. They can't defend against this. There is no chance. Team Spirit running into the base to finish off Shopify Rebellion and send them down to the lower bracket. Radiant structures are fortified. They like jumping in, trying to do what he can, trying to fight up. I mean, he's got the cheese, they've got the damage onto Lyle, maybe finishing him off with the ice blast, but look at them just taking.